Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk and poodlesjewelry.com because it's Sunday, it's the day of the week when I merge my two working lives together. And this week, rather than working on a locket or as a, from a locket as inspiration, I'm working from one of our crystal wrap bracelets. Now this is the, the cobalt, emerald and gold crystal wrap bracelet, which hopefully you can see the colours there if I catch the light shining through. Um, there is also jet in there and there is also clear crystal, but it was the three main colours of the green, the gold and the blue that I've picked out inspiration for um, the tag that I've got going on my parcel so that's one of the bracelets I'm wearing um, another one here and then there's the amethyst one which is the beautiful purple but it's this one and actually inside this packet here is the box that the bracelet comes in which is just a nice slim narrow one and that's inside there and often you'll see me creating projects where I'm making a beautiful box for an inexpensive gift and I thought that you know I was amused by the irony of putting an expensive gift into a paper bag and then I decided to dress the bag up so all it is is one of our bags that's very simple and you know lock the uh, bracelet box goes in there and then it's just decorating that so I'm going to show you how to do the tag so I've got little sort of splats going on in the background and they are taken from gorgeous grunge because I wanted the speckledy bits, which, you know, I've picked out the colours that are the same. So I have got here a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is 2 by 4 inches, which is 5 by 10 centimetres. I'm just going to take my scallop tag topper to the top of it. I've got my corner rounder for the bottom. And then I'm going to stamp it. So I have got already prepped these three images here so this one is going to be in pacific point blue this one is going to be in what color did i go for wild wasabi and then this one is going to be heat embossed so i'm going to do the blue first oh i'm going to throw my block apparently maybe a little smidge off there as well let's get that out of the way my wild wasabi and that's the next one up, so the still splats, but not quite as large an area. Um, a little smidge down there, I think. And then the gold, that is heat embossed. So I'm going to keep this here, but I'm also bringing in a spare bit because the tag here has been heat embossed as well. I've got my embossing buddy. And I'm just going to go all over that. And on a section here as well and I've got my two stamps and this one is from Merry Everything and so this one has the note tag punch that punch that goes with it and obviously the center the one in the center versa mark ink and do my splats first and on there and a third under there I think should I go for a fourth up at the top why not? Chattering away to myself. And then this one as well. Down there. Pop the lid on there and I've got a piece of scrap paper. I had a piece of scrap paper. It's here. Oh, just off to one side. And I can put my embossing powder on it. Where did I put that? That's out of the way. That's there we go, that's the gold. I thought I had the clear for a second then. And you just dump it all over it. Very technical. Tap off lightly. There we go. And then the same on here as well. Just put this back before I fire it across the desk or something similar. And then I can heat it up with my heat tool. And if you've got volume going, turn it down now, because I'm going to turn this on and it's noisy. There we go, just rub off the smut. There we go, that's nice and hot. And as you move it around, you do that to stop the card stop buckling. It will suddenly begin to melt. I don't know if I've said this on camera before now, but my husband said it's like powder coating. Um, 
when you heat up a piece of metal and you put powder paint on it, apparently the same thing happens. Wouldn't know personally, never heated up metal and stuck powder paint on it. <laughs> And then I can start putting everything together. So with this one, actually I think I'll put the bag well, just while that cools down a little bit. So bag, fold it over, burlap ribbon, and I know I've only got only just got enough. So this is the lovely burlap ribbon. This was in last year's Christmas catalogue and then made its way into the main catalogue. So pull up the length and I've got some linen thread, which is what I'm going to tie round the top. I'm going to tangle myself up in it very probably because I do stuff like that. Look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness, tangling everywhere. Make the bow a bit prettier. Trim off the excess. And then put it all together. So I'm going to punch this one out. I love this note tag punch. I mean, obviously it's designed to go around these ones, but it also fits these two perfectly. Marvellous. Love it. So, pop that around there. Centre it up. Pop it out. And then build everything up with layers. So I'm going to use dimensionals for these. that off at an angle, same as before. I think I might take it further down this time. Um, I've got some buttons and I have already tied the linen thread on. I'm not that daft. <laughs> to have left. Just sat here and done that with you. I'm going to put that on. Oh, that is not tight enough. Let's tie that a bit tighter. There we go. So I'm going to put that on there and I'm actually going to use um, fuse. I couldn't think what it was called then. Fast fuse down it. So I want it to go at this angle from this top corner down to there. From that one down to there so it sits like that. And that will not budge at all now. This has been sat on here for about a week since I made this project up. It's not going anywhere. Right, mini glue dots for the slightly smaller one. Oh, I forgot to say, these are the new gold basics metal buttons. These are in the Christmas catalogue, the seasonal one. And I like our metal ones anyway, our regular basic metal buttons. So, you know, having the gold ones, I was very happy when I saw those appear in the catalogue. Can't seem to pick up that glue dot. There we go, and that is how you package up a beautiful gift into an ironic paper bag. Oh, and look, I haven't trimmed that bit off. Oh, that's just rubbish, isn't it? Sort that out. There we go, much prettier. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and I shall see you back here. Oh, tomorrow, it's the first of the Poodles Advent Countdown Project starting tomorrow on Monday. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.